Manu, everybody is up in arms again about the state of play on the Senate map. Uh, did anything change since last week? Not really, other than the fact that Republicans just feel a lot better because of the polling that polls have showed, the race tightening up. They've gotten some of their key candidates in Colorado, potentially Scott Brown in New Hampshire. The mood is shifting. Democrats are getting nervous. Democrats are trying to push back and say, look, this map has been bad all along. Now there's actually, you know, there's several, several months left. Things could change before And the November. person they're pushing back on hardest this week is Nate Silver, although uh, really all the political handicappers have gotten a little worked over by the D side recently, right? Yeah, I think there's concern that, that having someone like Nate Silver come in and say that the, that the Democrats could lose the majority could scare off uh, a lot of their donors, people who actually think that, uh, that they need to actually pour money into the DSCC, into Democratic super PACs into Democratic campaigns. If those folks start to get nervous and think that the majority is lost, then maybe the money won't be there to compete against Americans for Prosperity and the Koch brothers, which are just pummeling Democrats in state after state. I mean, state. the funny thing here, right, is that it is the conventional wisdom setting in. There's nothing new here. That's if you look down the list of, and this is not just about uh, 538, but if you look at what all the handicappers are saying, everybody knows that Mark Pryor is in a lot of trouble. Everybody knows that Mary Landrieu has a tough race and the Colorado race just got a lot tighter. And, you know, I think you ask everybody in Washington, uh, you know, your closed ballot prediction, they would either say Republicans buy a hair or Democrats buy that's a hair, right. right? And we knew that last week. Right. And any way you look at it, this is a majority that's going to be very evenly split between the Republicans and Democrats. And even if the Republicans take back the majority, Alex, you know, come 2016, that map right. favors Democrats. It could slip, shift right back to the Democrats saying this is really a period of volatility right now.